Hi everyone, welcome to episode number 11 of the Bill Podcast and today we'll be talking a little bit about responsive web design and three of my favorite JavaScript plugins that I use very frequently. So firstly, what is responsive web design? If you go to this website called Media Queries, this website has beautiful examples of many applications out there with responsive web design. So let's just choose one of them. Let's just choose the first one. If you choose um, an example, a uh, site with a responsive web design and you kind of adjust the window frame, notice how beautifully it adjusts to any frame size. So that is in a nutshell, responsive web design or a fluid or adaptable web design. I highly recommend you to Google for this term and there are so many resources. Of course, a very big part of responsive web design forms the CSS3 media queries, but today we'll be talking about three JavaScript plugins that I use very frequently. The very first one is called Fit Text. Now notice in this example of the plugin, the words, the heading here is completely a text and I can select it. And also when I resize the browser, and it also changes very fluidly. So that's the very first example of JavaScript plugin we'll go through. The second example is a video example. So when I play the video and, uh, and I resize it, notice what happens to the video. It resizes along with the entire browser size. So this is also a very neat little plugin for video. And the very last one is a slideshow that all of us can use. It also has a very same concept. When I resize it, it also resizes it very fluidly. So these are my three favorite plugins for responsive web design, and I used it in so many projects, including the build-podcast.com, where I use the FitVit plugin. So let's get started. Today we will create a very simple page with uh, some text here, a bold heading here, a video, a map as well, and also a slideshow. Now notice, uh, like the previous examples, when I'm resizing the browser, they all change very fluidly until it fits even on a mobile browser. So that's what we'll be doing. And also I'm really excited that Curiosity landed on Mars. So I decided to make this project completely about space exploration. So let's get started. Uh, in my desktop, let's see, I have already made a folder. So I'm gonna go inside the folder here. And inside the folder, I have an image folder, index.html and style.css. So let's go and check that out. Okay, so my index.html has the HTML5 boilerplate here and uh, just the heading and the paragraph, which is by Carl Sagan when he saw the Earth from the Voyager. Um, so that's what we have. And in CSS, it's also very basic, some styles for header one and paragraph, also the container and some body and some resets. So firstly, what we'll do is we will go ahead and do the heading. Okay, so for the heading, uh, the plugin is fit text. So notice when I have this um, heading here and I resize it, it is not resizing it as our plugin here. So I'm gonna go to the GitHub And it says here that we need to download these file here and also have jQuery as a dependency. So I'm gonna copy here, come right to the bottom before the body tag ends and paste it in. However, I would want to refer the jQuery to the latest one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to cdnjs jQuery 1.8, which is the latest version of jQuery. So let me go here. And I just wanna make sure that I have the right file linked. So jQuery. And I will copy this here, go to my file. And under source, I just wanna reference it to cdn.js jQuery 1.8. Right, so that is the dependency for fittext.js. Next, I will go ahead, come back to the instructions. 
I will need to reference to jquery.fittex.js and then add in this little snippet. So let me go ahead and create this file. So I'm gonna go here, raw. You can either download it or just copy it from the browser like what I'm doing. And I'm gonna create a folder called JS where all my JavaScript folders are there. And very quickly, I'm gonna create a new file and paste it there and call it jquery.fittext.js. Right, so let me just remove the trailing spaces. And let me go back to the index.html and this time I will reference it just like uh, how the instruction said. So let me just copy both of them. And I will just add in a comment to say that this is fit text. All right, so the first one, source is jquery.fittext.js, but for us it is inside the JavaScript folder. So what I'll do is js slash. And over here I'll have to reference to the element that I'm using on the page. So for here, it's very easy, it's just h1. So I will just replace the entire thing with h1. And uh, let's see how our result looks like. Command R looks like some changes have taken place and when I kind of resize, it doesn't take place. Why is that so? Now before we get started, we have to note that uh, the container that we have here have to be responsive as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to add in a little snippet at media only screen and max with let's say when it reaches 800 pixel or below it will have these changes and then over here I'm going to add container with equals to 96%. Okay, so let's see what happens. When I resize this, aha, uh -huh, it's resizing it, and guess what? The heading is also resizing it very beautifully. Now, usually in uh, uh, plugins, they will also have some options. For example, over here, you have the compressor option. Inside the brackets, you can actually put in these numbers. If you put in greater than one for fit text, it turns up the compressor, which means it shrinks the text more. And if you put in a bit less, it uh, shrinks the text less. So since our text has become less, let us pump it up a little bit more. So I'm going to come back to here and just going to put 0 0.8 so that it uh, stretches the screen. All right, I like it. Let's stretch. And it is a very flexible heading now. Okay, great, so that was fittext.js. It is a very simple plugin. If you have a very bold heading that you want it to scale across different browser sizes, go ahead and try this little neat plugin. The next one that I have is Fitvid. So for Fitvid, uh, let me go ahead and find the video by Carl Sagan uh, where he narrates this passage. So what I'm gonna do is video YouTube Carl Sagan pale blue dot. All right, so the very first one is the video. So for this case, what I'm gonna do is I will have to copy and paste a little snippet of code. So let me stop the video. I will go under share, embed, and yeah, I can take this entire snippet and let me just go back here. There are a div, so I'll call the div a video, obviously, and I will paste it right inside here. That looks good. Let me go ahead and fire up, and the video should appear here. Okay, so the video appears here, and we can play it, but notice that it is not at all responsive. So when we resize the browser, it is a very fixed size. In fact, when it the browser is browser width is lesser than the video, the video actually stretches. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna use fitvids.js to resize the video fluidly. So we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna go to the GitHub. 
and read a little bit of the instructions and it seems it's pretty similar to fittext.js as well. We have to refer to the jQuery, we have to refer to the fitvids.js uh, file and finally we need to call this snippet. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to copy this uh, entire thing. I'm not going to copy the jQuery because I have already done it by referring to the cdn.js. So let me go ahead and uh, fit vids and copy and paste it. So let me just format it a little bit. Okay, so let's look at the first line. Source to the jQuery.fitvids.js. Obviously, we do not have the file, so what we have to do is we have to get the file there. So once again, I'm going to click raw. And I'm going to copy the entire thing. And create a new file under JS. Paste it. And save it as jQuery.fitvids.js. Okay, so I have that file now. And let me now go ahead and change the path. For us, it is under the JS folder. Okay, next, target your element here. So I'm going to remove the comment. And for this case, our element is video. So I'm going to change this to video. Okay, so let's see how that looks now. So I'm going to exit. Okay, let's come to this page and I'm going to refresh it. Alright, it seems like the video somehow expanded. But let's resize it and see what happens. Okay, and the video is being very fluid no matter what the browser size is. And uh, you see how easy it is to embed a responsive video even from YouTube or Vimeo as well. It's very little neat plugin. I like it. So that was how video was done. Next, I would like to embed maps. But for maps, I will not use any plugin. So firstly, let me just go to Google Maps. And this time, uh, let me search for something that is related to space exploration. Let me search for all the observatories on Earth. And if you kind of look here, Wow, they actually go and list out all the observatories all around the world. I like this map. This is quite suitable for our project. So I'm going to click this link button, go to the iframe, and this time I will paste it right after the video. Okay, so let me come back and see how it looks like. Okay, so it's the same as what we what happened to our heading and video first. So it is obviously having a very fixed width and height. So for this purpose, firstly what I'll do is I'll add an ID to the uh, iframe and this time I will call it map. Next I will not uh, include a video uh, width but uh, rather include a 800 pixel which is equal to the container. Okay, that looks good. So let me now go back to the CSS file. Now in CSS file, what I'll do is I'll do hatch map. And this time I will probably add a margin just so that it has a little bit of margin with the video. Maybe top, bottom, left, right is zero. And this is the key, max width equals to 100%. Now when you do that, it says that max width will equal to 800 pixel or lesser. Now notice immediately it is 800 pixel and when I try to resize it, right, even the map, the iframe Google map totally embeddable is resizing itself and even if you look in a mobile browser and it's totally responsive and uh, fluid in design. Okay and lastly after our maps and video, we will go through these slides. I really like this neat little plugin because it's not only responsive, but at the end it offers a lot of um, customization, whether it's uh, what is the speed, whether you want some kind of uh, handler to show which photo. So I like this plugin. 
So for our images, uh, let me show you. In our images folder, we have uh, three pictures related to space once again. And I got these beautiful images from this uh, Creative Commons photos of astronomy. I love looking at astronomy photos uh, from Wikimedia. And I just copied a few from uh, the galaxy and the nebula here. Some of them Andromeda or some collapsing, collapsing uh, galaxies, colliding galaxies and so on. So I took three pictures, I sized them in Photoshop and let's insert them here. So firstly, what I'm gonna do is um, have the HTML markup. So for that, I'll come back to index.html. After the map, what I'll do is um, inside an unordered list, I have three pictures and I'm gonna add in an image. Okay, that's good. And of course, the images are all under IMG folder. So I'm gonna do one, uh, IMG slash one dot JPEG. And let me just copy this more times. And this is like two. And um, this is number three. Okay, and let's just make sure that the pictures appear here first. Okay, so all the pictures are appearing here. So now let's go and see what the responsive uh, slides are asking us to do. So over here is the same thing. Number one, it has very clear instructions firstly. It also wants us to link to the jQuery uh, library, which we already did. Next, it wants us to link uh, to the JavaScript library. So as you notice, it's a very similar pattern on how you embed JavaScripts on a web page. So I'm gonna go to the GitHub page and uh, choose the main file so that it is completely minified and optimized. And I'm gonna choose the raw file. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Come back here, new file, paste it in and save it as jQuery.responsiveSlides.js. Okay, so now we have this file. After we have this file, we have to come back here and I'll just add a comment to say that this is responsive slides. And this time, I'll add in the script. And of course, the name is jQuery that responsive slides. Okay, now let's go back to the instructions. The instructions now says, call the slide and add the mockup, which we did but the markup has this class. So let me go and add that class there. So our index.html, let me go and add this class to the unordered list. And it says add some CSS. So let me go ahead and add some CSS. Okay, that looks good. And lastly, we have to call uh, the script, or rather say which element we want uh, the JavaScript uh, to act upon. And I'm just gonna paste in here. Yes, we have a dot R slides in our HTML markup, which is right here. So let's go ahead and refresh the page and see how it looks. And let's Resize it, all right. And it is resizing it very well as well. So that's all for this week's episode and we have learned how to embed JavaScript for responsive web design, whether in terms of video, a slide, or even our bold heading. And finally, for the build link of this episode, I decided to share something on space exploration as well. This is a podcast that I watch. It is called Hubblecast. It's a very beautiful and inspiring podcast. You can subscribe it via iTunes or um, you can also come to this web page and, and hear Dr. Jay Liska speaking about Hubble and uh, different space explorations. It's already into episode 55, so they have done quite a lot of episodes. So I highly recommend you to check out this uh, podcast out and it's really inspiring. That's it for this episode and uh, for all other episodes of Build Podcast, visit build-podcast.com. 
you can subscribe it through iTunes or RSS. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye.